Mix for Record Serum Synth lets you easily resynthesize any audio file into a wavetable oscillator. Let's see how it's done. Although you can try converting absolutely any audio file, it's recommended to use a low tuned single note sample with a consistent pitch. We've got a selection loaded up here. If you don't know your sample's pitch already, drag it over Oscillator A's wavetable display and drop it into one of the import options. This one here should generally be the first option you try. However, if you know the pitch of your sample, there's a better way to import it. As this sample's pitch is in the file name, we can click Oscillator A's pencil icon to open the wavetable editor. In this formula parser strip, we'll click and type F0. Now we drag the sample right onto the editor, and Serum will analyse the sample and resynthesize it into a wavetable oscillator. When doing this, it's worth noting that different doors confusingly use different octave standards, so you can use a spectrum analyzer if you need to measure your sample's fundamental frequency before importing. This sample has been divided into individual frames, indicated by the bottom horizontal row of numbered thumbnails. You can click through the thumbnails. Notice that each frame contains approximately one wave cycle, give or take. Play a MIDI note as you click through the thumbnails to audition these static frames in isolation. But what we're going to do here now is automatically scan through these frames. To do this, head to the main edit page and hook up an LFO to modulate Oscillator A's wavetable position. So we're modulating through the wavetable frames, but it's a bit inconsistent. So it's a good idea to refine your scanning through these frames. As we converted a punchy 808 bass sample, there's a clicky thump at the start of the scanning. To smoothen the back and forth motion through the wavetable, we can trim away unnecessary frames from the start and the end. So here we're going to select frame 10 in the thumbnail view, then go into the add remove menu and choose remove beginning to select it. Now we've cleared away that initial thump. To delete the final few inconsistent frames, we'll select frame 68 and choose Add Remove Selected to End. Now we can hear the interpolation is smooth and consistent. This wavetable oscillator contains only 67 frames of a maximum 256. So what we can do now is select one of the Morph options. We're going to choose Morph Crossfade. Serum now fills in the remaining gaps with interpolated wavetables for even smoother motion between them all. And from here you can manipulate and process your wavetable like any other synth oscillator. Before we wrap up, let's have a quick look at how to refine your wavetables. Converting audio to wavetables can be a bit of trial and error, so try all the different import options, including these four FFT modes, to see what sounds best with your source material.
If you get crackling artifacts, use the Wavetable Editor's Process Crossfade Edges options to smoothen frame crossing points. If needed, the Process Normalize options will even out levels across the frames for more consistency. To fill out your wavetable with interpolated frames, you'll want to get to know the different morph options. The one we used earlier, Morph Crossfade, will fill in gaps with regular volume crossfades, and that's what most wavetable synths do. But then there's this Morph Spectral option, which will add resynthesized frames, akin to additive synthesis. 